Good morning, folks. We've got a new crackling active region on the solar north. Sunspot underdeveloped beneath it, but the slow return to activity marches on. We've got top science news today, and we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. Despite the active region popping up on the north, the sunspots remain absent. The coronal hole on the south is turning away. Its solar wind is still likely another day away from reaching 1 AU. Until it arrives, the telemetry of the solar wind is calm all indices fluctuating, but doing so within normal range, like bouncing from quiet to calm to relaxed to sleeping as we wait for faster streams and geomagnetic conditions mirror that peace and calm. Not so much in Brazil, where the tag team of the Amazon and Andes Mountains are doing their moisture spin over the Great Forest, drawing in from the Atlantic and flooding out southern portions of the country triggering deadly landslides. The eastern part of North America added to their snow totals last night and into this morning, while the west coast readies for another run of moisture out of the Pacific. Four earthquakes of note yesterday, including a rare event in Kansas I'm just going to tell myself was the football fans jumping up and down, but also there were three magnitude 6 earthquakes, shallow rumble in China and a blot echo in Indonesia, followed by another magnitude 6 blot echo at the low velocity zone beneath the South Atlantic. Tiny uptick at magnitude 6 ranges, we expect a long-term average of 3 magnitude 6 quakes per week. Got them in a day. Let's take a moment with something pretty out to NGC 1803 to find a galaxy that is very likely to be similar to our own in numerous ways. While it sits 200 million light years away, we can tell its galactic nucleus is a bit older, not quite as active. We see both star formation at the bright blue and tremendous dust and gas content to the disk. First up in the science articles is a white paper outlook on the next 10 years of magnetic field science. In the last three years, Sophia and Alma have changed scientists' perspective on magnetic fields in space, recognizing how they sculpt molecular clouds, guide dust, modulate star formation and the lives of the stars, and of course, they thread galaxies as coherent large-scale structures that can be broken down piece by piece to reveal those smaller modulations. While the world is awaiting the James Webb Space Telescope, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope is about to get an upgrade that will knock these magnetic studies out of the park. Two key Earth electrodynamics papers here, and then a big announcement. First, Particle cascades have been blamed on the total magnetic spectral power of the solar wind, but it turns out the key aspects of that are actually driven and controlled by current sheets in the solar wind. Watchers of our Catastrophism series are smiling at the reference, and then they remember what it means for us in the galaxy, and the smiles disappear. We are also showing an amazingly detailed look at how the total electron content of the ionosphere is modulated by solar storms, with key enhancements covering millions of square miles and containing relativistic electron effects as the solar storm pushes the Van Allen belts down to the top of the sky. It's key to remember that the protons are solar, but when they impact, Earth's electrons precipitate as well. Of course, they produce the particle forcing that we've been describing in our special videos, and which is finally in the climate models after 40 years of waiting. If you didn't see our part 6 of the climate game last night, it was indeed the ace up the sun's sleeve, more important than tropical storm forcing or El Nino modulation or cosmic rays and clouds. It's the rapid heat onset when the sun delivers its biggest blasts. That part 6 is linked for you below, and now, since it's January 20, 2020. Today is the opening of Observer's Research. Now, if you plan to get involved, there will be new opportunities constantly on a weekly basis and numerous projects rolling out. To give you a basic idea, this was just one of the note pages we took during a brainstorm on our weekly podcast. Each of these and dozens more not on the list will all need your help. The goal is to use the size of the Observer's community to create a tome of knowledge containing all things in the alternative and awake community. By the way, that's awake, not woke. Make it available for everyone for free, and we are starting with possibly the hardest topic of all, the earthquake research. This is electromagnetism, seismology, geology, volcano science, and also the influence of space weather. It's past event analysis and data checking and compiling, and yes, 
a bit of earthquake forecasting too. We are starting here because I've got this one on a bit of a head start. We've got the Quake Watch living legend Terrence and Todd from Nine Rise and our app team that will be helping to lead the group. And the most critical thing I can say is please pick wisely. Don't let haste and excitement ruin this for you. I could understand you wanting to quickly jump in on the first door we open, but that's a mistake. Observers can only be in one topic group at a time. Most of you have something on this list or outside of this list you want to research, so the first earthquake one probably won't be for most. We'll be introducing new topic groups every single week, so think about how you most want to help, what interests you the most, then get ready to do it. Whether you're trying to be in this first earthquake group or you've got your mind set on something else, you're going to want to find our email. This is how you request to be part of the group. And then just wait for further instructions. Again, almost all of you will be waiting for another group after this first earthquake one. But for now, it is those quakes. And folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Check out last night's video if you didn't yet, the ace up the sun's sleeve. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.